So we've just arrived outside Labcorp. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. This is one of the biggest animal testing facilities in Europe. So we're gonna, I'm gonna flip the screen and try and have a little look around, ask people what's going on here. I've been told there's apparently 70,000 animals in here. Let's see if there's anyone that we can speak to. Looks like a prison to me. offices here. Hey everyone, just managed to gain access to Lab Corp in Huntingdon, which is one of the largest animal testing facilities here in Europe. Um, I've been outside recently a place called MBR, where we've um, seen these dogs being bred and taken in these crates to different lab laboratories across the UK. So I've been trying to find out where they're going, what's going on, and we've managed to get here we can see them same crate so we know the dogs have been transported here i'm gonna flip the camera and show you guys around what we so found. here are the crates live animals puppies be taken in these crates from mbr acres to this facility there's more crates there it's a locked door here you can see some sort of strap in for dogs there's some sort of feces poo on there look how the tied down and then all sorts of experiments happen on them this place looks like something out of the movies guys there's all these things look live animals again showing you dogs so they're testing on dogs birds fish everything look at these this is what they transport the dogs in guys they transport the dogs in them platforms repaired so the test, that's where the test on the dogs also There's, look laboratory diet animals feed lignosol wood fibers someone's there someone's there there's people inside here look at that and there's the dog guys there's the dog oh my days there's a the dog guys there's the dog Oh my days, you saw the dog? Hello? Someone there? Hi! Hi there. Hi. How are you guys doing? Alright. Got some few questions to ask you guys if you don't mind. Yeah. Is that okay? Uh, we're in a bit rushed, but if it's quick. Yes, just be quick. Um, just heard about this place, was interested in what goes on inside here. Could you care to explain? Uh, unfortunately, I think we have a communications department. I, I, I do actually, I'm okay with talking to you, but yeah. if something gets in and then it goes, oh, Coban, or sorry, LabCorp, LabCorp says this. Yeah comes on my head and then I get fired and then we just want to know generally because um I've been outside MBR spoken to people there I haven't had a chance chance yet to speak to MBR lab corp has come under my radar I'm from yeah. social media so I've come to just ask some questions because to get thoughts from both ends of the spectrum a lot of people are telling me there's animal testing going on here yes this is a, this is a pharmaceutical testing for animals Pharma so is. and is it true to say that it happens on puppies like beagles dogs yeah uh yeah He's just heading off back to the... No problem. Um, yeah, we do do work from dogs. It's all very legal stuff. It's not cosmetics or anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Camp Beagle and stuff, they will blow it out of proportion. Okay. But this is... This is I, I won't show you it. We are doing animal testing. Yeah. No, at least you're being honest with me because no one else has really spoken to me. It, it made me feel like shady and what's going on. So thank you for it's speaking to me. It's not shady, it's, but it's, it's, look. it's really hard, the dialogue between the two people. Okay. With us trying to work, it's... We get harassed every day going out of work and... They tend to not want to listen to us. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm here to listen to you guys because I want to hear from both sides of the story. Yeah. Um, I've done some research. I've found out about stuff like NAMs and apparently there's better methods for us. Apparently, And you're a scientist. What? I, I, I'm a very low-level scientist. Okay. Um, 
it's very there it's extremely expensive to do things in very like basic cell cultures and that's great if we could do stuff in cell cultures that'd be great okay but let's say i have a drug it's it's great for your stomach okay but it makes your feet explode yeah you can't get that from a cell culture okay. it's extreme it was a stupid example but that's what we need, we need full systems we don't have realistic ways to do full systems we have we have vets we have everyone on site yeah who are here to make sure that what we do is is ethical it's these are animals that we feel bad about we love yeah we love animals all of us love animals here in the we uk don't, we don't we don't want them to unduly this is, so we're making drugs for dogs we're making drugs for people and this is to help people this is try to you know welfare because if we, if we have like 10 dogs on our study mm -hmm. this could go out and save a hundred thousand dogs and vets yeah, but see, I personally, I don't believe in. Um, I I find life sacred, and I've done research and I found out there's a lot better studies like COVID nineteen. At first, it was tested on animals, on tested on human. Um, it was tested on animals. It wasn't the results weren't reliable. So they've now they've moved on to NAMS for COVID nineteen. So uh, what my question is to you, I know you said the cell studies we can't do them for certain things, but why, what, why COVID nineteen such a big disease? We've had, we've been able to move on to NAMS for that. Surely there is better methods in 2022. And if not, I'm surely we've got the most, we've got what we need. Like there's been all sorts of drug development. Why do we need to still test on these uh, animals? I will argue the last one. Which I, is the last I, one. I understand you. I understand that there might be better systems. And they are, I, I think they're in development and yeah. I'd be happy to see them go further. We'd love to. But we want to support that. We do that. need new drugs. We do need new drugs, but we... With, with MSR and... Okay. You get, you get My question to you is, I've... I've, I've Research and I've been told that 96% yeah. of these the, these these tests are not reliable. 96% of the drugs are tested fail anyway. Like um, was it at Sequani, a drug called Vial Vioax killed 140,000 people. Okay. So you know, as a scientist, I implore you guys. Look, I don't, I've never met you before. There's no hostility. I know you do. Like you said you're doing some. Level calm. Yeah, yeah. of course, and that's how we. Uh, that's how things develop and change in the world. People talking, having a level conversation, and then we can decide together what we can do. But I implore you guys, and I implore you as well. Please, let's try and move away from this method. Let's do move to something else. You guys are the scientists here. Yeah. We are the nation, and we don't want this to happen. We want animal testing ended in the UK. It'd be nice. All all humans want that. We want to move on to something human. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. And you, I would say that the first person you shouldn't going against isn't the people doing it, it needs to be the politicians. That's who we are, but I'm just, what I'm doing here is just letting people know that this is actually yeah. happening. Because people don't, people don't know that this is happening in the UK, so we're letting people know. But thank you for your time, I appreciate it. But let, let's see, let's see what we can do. Let's try to move to better methods, man. Because, come on, you're an animal lover, aren't it? You feel sorry for the puppies, don't you? So let's get it changed, man. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you for your time. This gentleman are agreeing. Right, you haven't caused any harm. No, right, no, okay. Or, yeah. You mind to, to just leaving with me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. We don't mind leaving now that you've asked us. Yeah. yeah. We didn't know that we can't be in here. No. Uh, how long have you been here then? I've <laughs> been here about 15, 20 minutes. I'm walking around, yeah, okay, having okay. a lovely tour around here. Yeah. Very good. It's very good. It's very sad. You know, I heard that there's about 70,000 animals in here. What do you think? Yeah. Just us two, just us two, man. No one else. Okay. We're a very peaceful bunch of people. Yeah. Unlike the people that work here. Tell them we're all good. Yeah, I'm okay. I've um, just got the two guys with me. And we're all walking back towards you. Over. Agree to side. So we didn't know we're not, so we never can't be in here. Wouldn't be, yeah. There's no one there. Necessary. We're the necessary people. Uh, Who's the necessary people? <laughs> are we going to get to speak to the manager? Are we? We don't want to speak to the manager. We've already spoken, we've already seen what we had to see. Jobs are good, then. Asked us to leave. Leaving at the first given attempt. Right? Can I ask you? Did, it's, it's, it's a lovely, it's a lovely, it's lovely weather. weather. Yeah. You know, you know what would be more lovely if we stopped animal testing here in the UK and maybe let the dogs come out. Is the dogs in there? The dogs in there. Do you know that? Uh, yeah, that building. Yeah. Puppy dogs. 
yeah. I'm afraid and all. You seem like a nice man. Surely, surely you don't. Yeah. Yeah, it's not nice, is it? Yeah. I think he was still doing this in the UK. Actually, when he agrees and says no, it's not nice. By the way, guys, we're in Lab Corp. So we're just having a conversation with a scientist here. We're in Lab Corp. Security's asked us to leave. He don't agree with what's going on in here either. He's like, nah. He'd rather we change oh, it. Like I've got it on camera. You didn't say it, but you agreed. You said, nah, it shouldn't happen. We should move to better methods. They're not animals that you said you feel sorry for them, the puppies. You don't feel sorry for puppies being slowly, slowly tested on, feeling sick every day. You do. We all feel sorry for them. Come on. You do feel sorry for them, don't you? He does. Look at that face. Of course, he feels feel sorry. sorry for the Ukraine, you, know. you feel sorry for the people in the Ukraine, yeah. We feel sorry for every life that suffers, whether they're in Ukraine, Palestine, Pakistan, India, China, anywhere we feel sorry for them. We didn't stop the security and nobody was in there. No one's in there. So we just we're doing that one. Huh? Um yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway guys. Right. Oh are we locked in now? Oh we're locked in now, we can't get out. Oh, how are we going to do this? Right. The gates are open for... High jump. We didn't jump. She goes to do a high jump. No, we can't do a high jump. We're stuck in a lab corp right now, guys. We are now, in fact, prisoners like the dogs. We're stuck in here. Can we get out? Uh, yeah. yeah. The gates were open yeah, when we walked in. Yeah. yeah. Can we get out? Can we let them out? Hi there. Hi there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I don't know if they're going to let us out or not. <laughs> get some lunch in here. Some get some lunch in here. Well, not here. No restaurants. Not open today. Oh, you got a restaurant in here? You got a restaurant in here? Quite a big place then, Lab Corp, isn't it? Quite a big place. It's been interesting. Letting us out because this is actually incubation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah we like the dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel prisoned, I do. Look, we can't get out. So we've just had a little walk around Lab Corp. Now we're actually trapped inside, guys. We can't get out. The gates are locked. Oh, there we go. The opening. One day we want to see these doors open like this and let the dogs from here leave. Like, see how we're allowed to free to go? This guy's let, let, letting us go. Yeah, we want the dogs to open like this for the dogs and let the animals go out. See how we just walked out, guys? It'd be lovely to walk out with the dogs. Horrible, horrible.